day number four, picnic table talk. Andrew Capone, horse racing nation, uh, back here in the backyard underneath the big trees. So far, good start to the meet. Price has definitely been coming in. Payouts definitely have been pretty big. Got a little bit of a cold, so I'm not gonna do too much of the talking. I'm gonna let my partner today, Ed Feldheim, tell me a little bit about uh, what do you think so far of the Saratoga meet? Oh, you're spot on. I mean, it's <clears> uh, the prices have been rolling in. Um, you know, it's been it's been a challenge. If you can connect two or three races in a row, you're getting paid. Uh, you're seeing these pick five payouts be really, really lucrative, and, and obviously, you know, we had the two day pick six carry over there, which which paid super well. Um, you know, it's been a great meet, and it's clear that everybody's bringing their best and, and firing with uh, with all with both barrels. So highlight race of the day is the quick call, five and a half furlongs on the turf. Um, before we get into that, Ed, tell me where have you been finding a little bit of success so far this meet? <laughs> It's been it's been tough. Uh, you know, I'm sort of a more of a vertical player. Uh, I think I I try to find the value within the race. Um, I, I, I struggle typically to, to put more than two or three races in a row together. Um, and I think that there's still a lot of a lot of ways to play these. Um, even when you're getting some prices on top, <clears throat> there are some still prices coming underneath. And you know, you can make you can make a favorite pay 36 to one, and, and that's something that I think is, is super valuable. So that's kind of where I've been targeting. So <clears throat> looking at the quick call for today, uh, five and a half furlongs on the turf. We have a nice field here. A few scratches to note the two MTOs are out and one of the Larry Avelli's um, one-timer is out as well. Um, Asymmetric is here. That was the horse that was working with Twilight Gleaming, um, is still in. Uh, Twilight Gleaming did scratch. So interesting little workmate partners there to see what happens. Jamie Spencer stays in town after his mount yesterday for the Godolphin team. Stays in to ride this one for Wesley Ward before heading back to Ireland. Uh, how did you see this race? Well, I think you got three very logicals. Uh, you got you got no balls. You got big invasion and asymmetric. Um, you know, obviously no balls seems to be the speed here. Uh, could be out there all on his own, winging it away. Um, you know, if that holds, uh, I, I don't know that uh, that that big invasion has a, a good shot there. It was sort of, you know, on the good part of the track there on that May fourth race. Um, came back and ran a very similar figure next out of Belmont. So you know, what do you do with that? Going longer at Belmont now he's cutting back. Um, you know, if he gets the right setup, maybe he gets there. Uh, my, my target price that, that I'm going to be looking at is run Curtis run, uh, the three, um, obviously, you know, still coming out of Churchill and those Churchill races have been challenging to translate to the Saratoga turf, but you know, internally, I think that horse has been doing some really good things. Um, and, and before he ran the Brutus, Brutus cup, uh, juvenile sprint, um, I had a note on him that said, you know, I think the horse just needs some time. Um, so he's improved these last two starts. Third start in a row here uh, with, with Ricardo up. Uh, so that usually means you're gonna get a decent price on the turf. Um, and I think the horse has a chance. I'll be playing him on top uh, to win. And then I'll also be using him under the three logicals uh, to try and snug up and, and get a price home uh, and make one of those favorites. You know, obviously those three logical horses favorites or, or what they end up being um, pay a little bit more than they would on the tote on their own. In terms of big invasion, we spoke to Miguel Clement this morning on the Saratoga Morning Report. Uh, he was not concerned at all. It seemed to cutting from seven to five and a half. He seemed pretty confident. He said it's a very quick horse. Um, when you see horses like that going from seven to five and a half, you know, what does that usually sense to you? Is, are you one that doesn't like the cutback angle, or especially on the turf? You know, I think it's all set up, right? <clears throat> I mean, if, if you got a horse that's been going long, um, they probably have a little bit more stamina and maybe somewhere in the middle of the race, they need that breather. Um, you know, so the question is either one of two things, is that horse gonna get a breather that he needs to make the run or is he gonna get the setup? And if you're not sure that either one of those are gonna happen, I think it's a great opportunity to, to fade a, what's gonna be a short price horse. Well, <clears throat> that was your pick. My pick's gonna be asymmetric. I'm gonna stick with the Wesley board here. Five and a half, very short. This horse is gonna break like a rocket ship. Yeah. Um, Jamie Spencer stays on. Three, he should have flown back yesterday after that ride. It wasn't the greatest, but hey, um, if he stays on, I think there's a good opportunity here. This horse is gonna break pretty well uh, and, and, and get a lot closer than it was previously. Um, that's what we have today for our picnic table talk. Before we end up here, Ed, I gotta ask you, you know, what does Saratoga mean to you? What's the backyard mean to you? You know, it's cool. I, um, I I grew up a little bit around horse racing, and I'm from the Midwest, and so there's a lot of Arlington Park and Churchill Downs. Um, moved out to the East Coast, and, uh, you know, Saratoga is this really special turn back in time. Uh, I think everybody that's here is happy to be here, and that's a big part of it. You know, anytime that you could be somewhere where people are all in a good mood, 
for whatever reason it is. Uh, I think that's a special place and everybody here is happy and it's just, uh, it's summer, you know, it's great. Thanks for coming on today. Best of luck to everybody on your wages and we will see you on Wednesday for day number five of Saratoga Picnic Table.